Okay, so this is a cartridge. The main parts are the primer, the cartridge case, the projectile, and the propeller, which would be the gunpowder. Okay. So depending on how the firearm works, the design of it, the firing pin on the hammer would strike the primer. The primer mixture would ignite, which would in turn would ignite the get the gunpowder, causing a lot of gas and pressure. Yeah. And it's that gas and pressure that pushes the blade down the barrel. Okay. But that gas and pressure is also working rear wood on the cartridge case. So when the cartridge case goes rear wood, it slams into the breech, and that unique surface contour of the breech can be impressed into the surface area of the cartridge case. So this is a semi-automatic. Yep. If you want to shoot this, you would put cartridges in the magazine, and then you would insert the magazine into the well, into the magazine well. Okay. Now, on the breech, on the this is what we call the head stamp area of the cartridge. The firing pin impression, that's where the firing pin would come through, okay. which would create that mark there. If you look at the metal, you can see machine marks on it. Those would eventually become breech face marks on the cartridge case. This is a comparison microscope. Comparison microscope. It's nothing more than two microscopes that are connected by an optical bridge that allows us to look at two different objects on two different planes simultaneously. Oh. Okay. So, it's a 9mm Luger caliber. Manufacturer CCI and R means it's not reloadable because it's a little case. This is the primer, the circle in here, this indentation this is the firing pin impression. And these parallel lines here are the breech face marks, the result of the cartridge case after it's being discharged going rearward and slamming into the breech of the gun. Okay. So we look at it, and, we, and like I said, these are all the same caliber, so I throw another one next to it. Uh huh. And we'll look to see if these marks are, are, um, are the same. So we phase these together. This would be what we call a sufficient agreement of the breach face marks, which would allow me to say or form the opinion that these two cartridge cases were discharged in the same firearm.